My parents were kidnapped by police when they were at friend's house in Weifang City, Shandong Province. My mom and my aunt are now illegally detained in the Weifang Detention Center. 20 days ago, on July 9th, about a dozen Weifang police officers broke into my parents' house in China and took away three laptops and desktop computers, digital camera and banking deposits, and a lot of personal properties, worth an estimated $7,000. On the same day, about 40 to 50 Falun Gong practitioners were kidnapped in my city. My mother learned Falun Gong, a peaceful body, mind, and a spiritual practice in 1995. Rooted in the Buddha school of practices, Falun Gong emphasizes moral rectitude, three values, truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance form the backbone of Falun Gong teachings. The practice cured her dermatosis and softened her temper. She appeared for Falun Gong several times when the state-controlled media slandered the practice in 1999. As a result, she was beaten, tortured, and harassed by police on numerous occasions. I constantly relieved the fateful day in January 2001 when my mother were, was arrested with eight other Falun Gong practitioners while they were practicing the exercises. They were all detained in a cold salmon cell that was less than nine square meters, where they were beaten badly by mobs led by the town leader who attempted to force them to give up the practice. Without success, the leader ordered the mob to torture them with electric batons and the toothed clubs. After 11 days of torture, she lost her front tooth. The skin all over her body was burned, and her legs were full of bruises and blood. She returned home after the police blackmailed my father $300, more, which is more than a month's salary in that city. <coughs> my father doesn't practice Falun Gong. The detention center guards knew this clearly, but they fired paperwork stating that he does in attempt to fire some charges against him and hold him in the detention center. My relatives haven't been allowed to see my mom. I couldn't reach them either. In China, there is a rule of law. The conditions in the detention centers are squalid and tr are treated inhumanly. This made me very concerned about my mom and my aunt. Till today, more than 300 Falun Gong practitioners have been confirmed as persecuted to death, while the actual number is much higher since the information is tightly blocked. In my hometown, Weifang alone, about 100 Falun Gong practitioners were killed by the Chinese communist regime for their belief in Falun Gong. Nearly 1,000 practitioners were taken to forced labor camps, and almost 100 received different kinds of sentences. I condemn the nine-year-long persecution of Falun Gong. Without the, without the opportunity to voice out under the Chinese communist regime, they need more people to speak for them and help stop the persecution as soon as possible. I would like to appear to the media, government officials, and my fellow students here to help in any way you can. Please stand up and say no to the persecution of Falun Gong and help rescue my mom and my aunt and other innocent Falun Gong practitioners. The United States is founded on human rights. I hope that 
the government can recognize the personal freedom isn't just uh, for the people here, but for anyone who desires it. I appreciate all kind-hearted people who gave me help and support. Thank you so much.